The mind is truly amazing, and it has a huge amount of unused potential. You can easily use the simple ideas in this book to reach your full potential and become the best version of yourself. You can learn ways to improve your imagination, attention, productivity, happiness, and success by following the lessons. The lessons use ideas from philosophy, psychology, and old knowledge to help you think more clearly. Learn how to change the way you think, form good habits, see yourself reaching your goals, and make your dreams come true. Our goal is to help you see the magnificent gifts, skills, and abilities you already possess. Changes that can make your life better begin inside you. The lessons that are coming up will teach you how to get rid of self-doubt, limiting beliefs, stress, and get into a state of flow. By following these rules every day, you can change who you are and how your future turns out. Without a question, you will have everything you need to become incredibly amazing. Now is the time to start a wonderful journey with the mind's amazing power. Lesson 1. Just start and power will show up. When you start a new job, it can be hard to get started. But once we start, an amazing force shows up to help us finish. It can be scary to think about what the future holds. Taking one step at a time, on the other hand, will help us move forward. Making progress leads to more progress. It seems like doors start to open, resources become available, and help shows up out of the blue once we decide to start. Ideas flow easily, imagination takes off, and a rush of excitement beats out any initial reluctance. Everything you need is already en route. It is important to start the process, though, by sending out the first alert. Moving around wakes up the creative forces that live beyond sight. If you start a job with drive, it can take off on its own. Ideas open up new options, and links are made when people meet by chance. Amazing things can happen if you consistently show up and put in the work. What might have seemed difficult at first becomes more and more certain. Today, take a step toward your exciting but scary dream or goal. Break down your goals, get the tools you need, make a plan, and sign up for a school. It doesn't matter what sees, deeds show how dedicated and believing someone is. Plant the first seeds and swing the first hammer, and you'll have the strength to finish any job or bring any idea to life. When you understand the idea of growth, you can be more creative. Taking the first step is the beginning of every great journey. You can count on the world to help you if you are determined. We often put off going after our goals and dreams because we think we need to know everything, be ready, and have a perfect plan first. Nevertheless, putting off starting until we think we fully understand often leads to never starting at all. Along the way, we will always learn new things and face problems we didn't expect. We miss out on chances for success and personal growth, though, when we wait for the perfect conditions. We can make progress, even though we only know a little right now. Getting hands-on training is the best way to learn. Attempts show places where we don't fully understand things, which leads to more research into the missing knowledge. Putting in effort can help you get better and get past your flaws. People who face problems with a growth attitude instead of being stopped by fear can turn problems into stepping stones. We all take our own unique path to success, moving forward at our own pace with each try, failure, and lesson learned. Adopting the attitude of always learning is important for success. We can easily change our plans when we learn something new, which helps us stay open-minded and curious. Most of us don't have all the details worked out for specific places ahead of time. It all comes down to our choice to start, no matter what. Making a plan that is clear and to the point helps us start our journey of self-discovery. So why keep waiting for a state of preparation that is never real? Before they get the chance to learn in real classrooms, many people spend years planning and studying on their own. Start right now 
to let new chances bring the missing pieces to you naturally. We are more likely to grow and move forward when we accept confusion and act on it. We need to be brave to get where we want to go in the future, even if we don't know all the answers or have a full plan. Now let's begin. Lesson 2. There are lots of ways to be successful. Different people can have different levels of success. Society's focus on fame and money can make success seem less important than it really is. It comes from living honestly and in line with your own skills, values and sense of purpose. There isn't a single answer that works for everyone. Luckily, there are always many ways to make a life journey that is important and satisfying. People who think outside the box can find other ways to be successful. Many people find their true interest by trying new things instead of just focused on doing well in school. Some people become great leaders in their communities by using what they've learned from getting through hard times. Some people get ahead by being brave and coming up with new ideas instead of following the rules. Many people are happier when they make a good difference in the world through their everyday activities instead of trying to get noticed. Some people think of success as reaching a higher mental level, living a simple life, or putting family ahead of financial success. We can set our own important standards of success if we know who we are and are brave enough to think for ourselves. Negative forces that tell us we have to fit in with society's standards or risk being called losers might need to be ignored. We can, however, take charge of our lives and make them exactly how we want them to be by writing down our own ideas of what success looks like. There isn't a single answer that works for all situations. We all need to work on developing our own unique skills and reaching our own personal goals. We can choose what the end goal is as long as we act from a place of inspiration and not ego or group pressure. To reach your full potential, you need to be fully focused and aware of your surroundings. There are always many ways to be successful as long as we believe in ourselves stay driven and be flexible. It's important to have the guts and willpower to ignore opinions from the outside that tell us to fit in. We can find our own truths though if we make time for self-reflection. When we ask ourselves what really matters most, we find our own unique core goals, hobbies and ways to live a happy life. We find out what success means to us when we really look at ourselves it could be making friends, speaking out for good causes, being creative, living by our ideals, telling the truth, having well-rounded kids, leaving a lasting impression, or finding meaning in our work. We value depth and purpose more than size and speed. For personal success, it's important to stay linked on a regular basis and adjust to changes in life and personal growth. Despite distractions, we need to be disciplined to stay focused on our main goal. What's really satisfying, though, is the freedom and happiness that come from sticking to our own values instead of going along with the crowd. Unicorns often do best when they are by themselves until they meet someone to travel with. We can achieve real success on our own terms, though, if we accept our own rhythms and meanings. When we honestly follow our own paths, we make a way for others to do the same and be in line with who they really are. When you stay committed to your purpose, you define your own success, which leads to making your own unique trip. Felton finished his job at the plant. He was tired from putting parts on the assembly line for a long time. As he walked to his old, worn-out car, he felt more and more worried about what was going to happen. Every day, the reports that Felton's job would be replaced by more efficient robots by management got stronger. As Felton drove home, he couldn't help but worry about the chance of getting a notice of layoff and how that would affect the money his family had. Without a job, how can he take care of his wife and young children? He took a big breath, though, and had a good thought. He shouldn't be afraid that robots will take his job. Instead, he should take charge of the problem. He was very clever and good at handling problems, 
which would come in handy in any future technology change. Felton was motivated, even though he didn't know what he wanted to do with his life, because he saw that not having a job as a chance to make his own future. During the next few weeks, Felton used his short breaks at work to write down business ideas, learn more about industries that were doing well, and keep track of his skills that he could use in different situations. I have accumulated a wealth of business concepts over the years, but unfortunately they have remained confined to my notebooks and browser tabs, he said. He went through a big change, going from being an inactive subject to an active producer. Taking charge of his own fate, confirmation came as planned. Factory flow would get robots, which would mean that many jobs would be lost by the end of the year, including Felton's. Felton didn't give in to fear or worry. He carefully accepted his layoff deal. He was ready for this by having courage and a well thought out plan. Felton changed his mind a few weeks ago, which led to him taking the initiative and believing that he could create new possibilities that technology could never replace. By focusing on the value of human connection, he inspired both his family and his co-workers in the workplace as they watched him calmly change. Lesson 3. Give and receive with joy. To understand the idea of wealth, you must first look within yourself. Whether we want to give or receive from others, we need to first understand how worthy we are. When we question our worthiness, gifts can't come into our lives and flow through them. You can get rid of this negative attitude by thanking yourself. Saying good things about our important role in the world is part of accepting the power that lives inside us. We let go of old stories that tell us we're not good enough and look for new chances. By using mindful affirmations, we take care of the garden of our best qualities. Start by telling yourself positive things. I am enough. I matter. I deserve good things to happen. My unique gifts are a blessing to the world. I welcome the flow of blessings into my life. Let these thoughts fill your heart. Including acts that help is important. Treat yourself with love, like you would a close friend, to take care of yourself. This means giving your body healthy foods to eat, taking breaks to relax, and giving yourself small treats. Forgive yourself for what you did in the past. Help yourself learn to accept and love yourself. We have a lot to share with others when we follow our own way, because it makes us happy. Because our ability has grown, we can accept benefits from many places. We can make our dreams come true even more easily when we spread good energy. By putting self-care first, we create the conditions for inner peace and confidence to grow. The world around us can be made better if we start from a place of inner peace and security. In order to feel better, start by thanking yourself. Positive facts will fill you with joy and happiness in amazing ways. Your journey is full of amazing things and important things. Open your arms and accept this beautiful truth. Giving something to the world always brings it back to us in a big way. Giving gifts without expecting anything in return makes good things happen that help everyone. Deciding to put in our best effort makes us happier and has a good effect on larger groups as well. When we use our skills, resources, time and energy to help other people, amazing partnerships can form that make our shared goals more quickly reachable. Mutual trades help people feel like they have a greater purpose and are part of a community. There is plenty when we give our all, even if our ego tells us to hold back out of fear or self-interest. Think about giving everything you do a bit of heartfelt duty. Come up with groundbreaking ways to ease pain, promote fairness, heal environments, and spread important ideas that will make people and the planet better. Share your useful knowledge to help others get through tough times, boost their confidence, ease their worries, and encourage them to think critically. People are inspired to reach their full potential when you share your skills easily and bravely.
There are ways to handle even the most difficult situations when people work together. Over time, small, constant acts of honesty and strength can change the direction of history. It is very important for our long-term health to take care of ourselves. Giving without expecting anything in return makes us feel good when we are thankful and happy. Give your best, your skills, your thoughts, your support and your true self so that your candle stays lit and shines as brightly as it can. The echoing sounds that come back might change everything. 4. Think, feel and act as if you were someone else. By looking at things from a certain angle, we can greatly improve our chances of reaching our goals or becoming better people. To use universal creation forces, we have to imagine that our goal has already been reached and feel good about it. Have hope, picture it, and imagine it, and watch as the reality you want comes true. If you follow this rule, you can use your mind to see what might happen in the future before it actually does. Visualization methods are often used by athletes to improve their ability before a competition. Before they start building, architects imagine how buildings will look when they're done. Teachers act sure of themselves to make students feel more secure. When we imagine different events, our brains make patterns that look like what would happen in real life. To begin, you should clearly define a vision that speaks to you. Then, you should consciously engage yourself in the idea that it is now a fact. To help people understand better, make images that use all of the senses. To make it more real, give thorough details of specific parts like tastes, sounds and smells. After watching the mental movie over and over until you feel comfortable with it, do what needs to be done as if you have no other choice. To find the best ways to move forward, you naturally focus on positive states of mind at all times. Find new chances that are easy to get to. Well thought out ideas easily become real events. The world lines up our outward situations with what we believe about ourselves, so be sure of yourself and think carefully about what you're making. The present you think about see and feel will have an effect on the future you will experience. Imagine it, say it out loud and do it and your idea will come true. Most of us focus on goals and wishes that are outside of ourselves. We make plans all the time to try to keep life under control and satisfy short-term wants. Reality, on the other hand, shows us what we're feeling by drawing in energy that matches our conscious and subconscious selves, not just giving us what we want. If we want to change the outside world, we must first change how we see things inside ourselves. If you always think about lack and restrictions, the world will reflect that, which will make it hard for you to have plenty of money. To make plenty, we grow a deep understanding of how important it is to give and receive without any doubt. It's important to work on our own self-worth problems and not count on our partners to make us feel whole if we want to have satisfying partnerships. We can make room for better and more satisfying relationships if we do this. If we want to be in great health, we should get rid of any bad habits that might be keeping us from listening to our bodies. No matter what, the outward effects always come after the growth on the inside. What's inside shows up on the outside, whether it's for people, groups or societies. It's easier to progress quickly when your conscious goals are in line with your mental thoughts and training. When stress levels get too high, getting rid of bad effects and focusing on positive thoughts and feelings will make things better in the outside world. The way we think about life shows us the parts of ourselves that need to be seen, healed and brought together. Instead of judging what might seem like flaws, see them as chances to learn and find ways to improve yourself. Instead of getting angry at them, talk to them with love. Being able to change with the times is an important skill for getting through life's challenges. If we're honest, we don't just want what we want. We also want what comes to us.
Watch as the world around you changes as you work to become the best version of yourself. Lesson 5. Don't just smile with your eyes, smile with your whole heart. Deep thoughts about self-confidence, kindness, dependability and happiness can be seen in the eyes. We can tell a lot more about someone through their look than just their face movements. To smile, we have to fully accept who we are instead of depending on acts that are only on the surface. When our eyes, heart and spirit all smile together, we show that we are present, have depth and are full of joy. Start with your real goals to connect on a deeper level. Just stop for a moment, take a deep breath and make a conscious choice to have positive and happy conversations from now on. Call up your best self and picture the person you want to be and the mental base you will build. Feel a warm feeling in your heart as you accept that we are all human and work to spread kindness every time you contact with someone. Make eye contact to show that you are friendly and easy to talk to. Let your eye muscles loosen up which will make you feel calm and interested. Remember a time when someone really got you and let that understanding guide how you treat everyone you meet. Be careful, accepting and polite as you work on the job. One strong field can be created by smiles that come from the heart of human relationship. By keeping an eyes heart unity attitude all the time, every encounter builds trust, peace and happiness. To really understand what a smile is worth, you have to look past its appearance and look at the love and kindness that comes from inside. Bring happiness and honesty to every place you go and your influence will last. A smile is a powerful way to connect across countries and is stronger than words. The soothing kindness of it cuts across age, gender and cultural lines. This simple action directly meets our deepest needs for acceptance, connection and happiness. Seeing the happiness in someone else's eyes can make us feel better by making us calm down and less stressed. People who give and receive smiles are both happy. Endorphins are chemicals that can make us feel good by lowering pain, worry and sadness. Doing this exercise might make them come out. A smile not only makes people feel better, but it also makes them stronger and gives them more energy. According to research, keeping a smile on your face for just 60 seconds, even if it's not real, can successfully lower heart rates and ease stress. When sadness continues, actively showing optimism can trick the mind and create a self-fulfilling prophecy. Our feelings and thoughts have a direct effect on what we do and how we feel. Intentionally smiling has a big impact on our inner health, bringing our inner state in line with how we look. A smile goes a long way toward making positive thoughts work better. Over time, appreciation starts to spread. People who smile and are friendly all the time can make the people around them and their lives better. Allies are pulled to open doors and negative thoughts turn problems into opportunities. There is no change in confidence. Emotions have a strong effect and can connect people in ways that words can't. It's important to smile often and honestly from the bottom of your heart. When hearts are lifted, healing takes place. The infectiousness goes from one person to another, making all settings better. The brightness of the glows on the outside reflects the glows on the inside creating a global light. A simple smile that shows how kind a person really is can make anyone a star. Jian woke up feeling both excited and nervous because she was looking forward to her big night, playing live at a sold-out concert hall to start her world tour as a singer. Even though I was very talented, I had a lot of self-doubt as I worked hard to get noticed. Jean chose today to accept herself as she really is and live a happy life. After singing warm-ups, Jean played her favorite songs and thought about how her songs about unity would inspire people all over the world. She thought of happy people in groups who were moved by music that spoke to their hearts. This experience brought Jian's true love back to life. 
On her way to the fancy venue, Jean shut down her worries about whether her message and skill would be enough to hold the attention of so many people. She remembered how much her teachers, leaders and fans thought that her songs could help people. Jian walked in with a huge smile on his face, and he seemed confident instead of cocky. She accepted the current moment and let the holy voice and vision guide her, which led to a huge change. Jean's performance got many standing ovations because it was clear what she was trying to do, she was honest, and each note was filled with kindness. Her deep earnestness and kindness were so strong that they went beyond being fun and turned into a form of worship for everyone. As time went on, critics gave Jian great reviews, and she quickly became a global star. Her emotional acts moved people all over the world. It all began with accepting joy and purpose on that magical first night, which melted away fears and put a future Grammy winner on the world stage. She kept her polite smile on that stage for decades after that. Lesson 6. Give yourself an inner glow and let it shine outward. A lot of the time we're always looking for approval from other people, but real power comes from inside, so you can feel worthy and important. We can feel a glowing inner glow that makes every part of our lives better when we put self-care and self-love first and believe our instincts. This busy hub gives us the chance to spread happiness and make a difference everywhere we go. Affirmations and awareness methods are good places to start. Look at yourself in the mirror for a moment and tell yourself how valuable you are. You're already enough. I'm important. I give my gifts to everyone. Feel the intensity of strength and light filling your whole body. Imagine a world where anything is possible. Accept your own strength and act with confidence. Do things, be artistic, stay busy, and take breaks to take care of yourself and improve your health. Make meditation a normal part of your life to keep your mind and body in sync. Care for your inner health and knowledge with unwavering devotion. By regularly caring for and honoring your inner light, you can use it to create energy and good thoughts that spread without draining yourself. Picture yourself giving off the energy of a campfire or the calming warmth of the sun. Once you understand more, you'll be more open to source energy's direction, which will help you reach your final goals. Bring out your secret talents and help the world by letting your artistic side shine. Others are now ready to answer calls to stir up trouble. When you walk into a room, people are drawn to your confidence, even before you say a word. You give off good vibes that make people feel hopeful. There are ways to find solutions. New paths are opened up near you. When we have a clear goal in mind, dreams come true. The inner glow feeds the outer glow, spreading its good vibes like a soft, long-lasting scent. Take care of your light and be open to new places. Even though they can't be seen, human energy fields affect the people we meet. Tone, stance, pace and mood are all non-verbal cues that say a lot about our vibratory patterns. It's easy for us to pick up and send back to each other small messages, just like radio waves turn wavelengths into sound. Some brain cells called mirror neurons are in charge of copying emotions and actions that we see others do. Seeing happiness makes our empathy centers fire, which in turn makes us feel good. Having to deal with worry can make us feel more stressed. The energy patterns around children are especially strong and can change them. Aside from unconscious brain signals, extrasensory awareness also lets people pick up on intuitive knowledge. You can pick up on signs, atmospheres and auras when your sentences are clear. Clear awareness lets you understand people and events in a simple way. Energies are much more powerful than words when it comes to moving things. Scientists don't have a way to measure brief vibrational outputs in a precise way yet, but the effects are clear. Energies that are sent from one person to another are used by healers to make people feel calm. People who speak with strong feelings 
can attract an audience and make everyone's heart beat faster. Moods can change when you go into places that are calm or chaotic. Whether our patterns are good or negative, they have a big effect on each other. As people who give off energy, we are responsible for the vibrations we send out into the world. We can send out good energy that can help others reach their full potential by becoming more self-aware, controlling our feelings and making our goals clear. Show the world the peace, happiness and strength it needs. Boost the world's energy as a whole. Emotions affect people in ways that they can't see. Lessons meet the deepest needs of other people. Being liked, respected, recognized and cared for is one of the most basic wants that everyone has. When these basic principles aren't followed regularly, it leaves a hole that causes misunderstanding. Many conflicts, habits and acts of self-sabotage come from deep-seated needs to be accepted and have meaning. The good news is that we can make things better by understanding and meeting these basic wants in others. Babies need to be cared for and loved in order to build healthy brain connections and trust. Disruptions can make people feel bad, which can have an impact on their lives. People do better when they get care and support, just like trees do. But we do worse when we aren't linked to caring relationships. Giving someone simple acts of support and comfort can have a big impact on their feelings of loneliness and hopelessness. Even as we get older, we may still want the steady support that family, friends or partners should give us. Focusing on deep-seated pain instead of just the obvious problems can help us connect with each other and understand each other better. Make a safe space where people can talk about their feelings and work through traumatic events without worrying about being judged. People who are normally very strong can go through a crisis when they don't know if they will be able to meet their basic wants like they used to be able to. Give them short-term help, like resources, a guide and strength until they can get their situation under control. Help others without expecting anything in return, with a kind heart and without wanting praise. This will boost their self-esteem. See the value in what other people do and what they believe. Encourage ties that are more than just labels. People are looking for meaning and connection. Give them what they want by creating a group that is open and supports their unique skills. We can work together to make a place where everyone's mind and heart can grow and become whole. We can make a good difference that helps everyone by putting the mental needs of those around us first. Even though our pride might tell us otherwise, thinking about other people is good for us. Being kind and generous brings happiness and meaning long after the act of giving is over. It is important to see the humanity in everyone in order to meet our basic needs for love, acceptance, respect and a sense of purpose. Instead of passing judgment on the surface, choosing kindness builds deeper ties that are important for social and mental health and the smooth running of society. Studies have shown that kind actions have good effects on both the person who does them and the person who receives them. Helping other people feel heard, respected and included shows how important it is that we are all connected. As we recognize the basic wants that all people have, the differences between our life paths start to fall away, creating a sense of unity. We know how important it is to work together to get things done. When we take the time to help and encourage others, it makes us feel better too. What felt like a heavy weight can become something important and satisfying with purpose. When we work on healing together, our lives have a meaning that we don't always have when we only work on ourselves. The good forces build up over time and offer real benefits in many areas of life, including better relationships, job chances and general health. But the most rewarding benefits are the ones that come from inside. Some of the best things in life come from meeting our basic wants, including our own. These include being happy and having the power to change our futures. Eighth lesson. Every day you can get better or worse. Our success depends on the road we pick each morning when we wake up. 
Should we be hopeful and move forward, or should we be negative and give up? There are times when we have to decide which way to go. The choice we make will determine whether our future goes up or down. To become great, you have to keep building on small steps forward over time. Problems appear quickly and stop progress before it can fully grow. We can make things better or worse every day. It can be hard to tell what stagnancy really means. We have feelings, thoughts and habits that change all the time. The difference is in what we want to do. Were we determined to grow the good or let the bad get out of hand? Understanding the daily progress depends on a lot of small caring actions added together, not on big actions. Finding the next step forward, no matter how small it may be, is an important part of getting better. Get over your fears by being brave. Asking deep questions will help you understand better. Do little acts of kindness to spread love. Take care of your general health by learning how to rest smart. A soft and controlled method will help you get stronger. Accept that you will get better over time by breaking out of bad habits. Encourage a good attitude. As time goes on, work on and get better at what you do. Neglect, disregard and misunderstanding are all things that are needed to let worse things take root. Pay more attention to short-term pleasures than to long-term meaning. Blame outside factors for not making progress and performing at a normal level to find an explanation. Stay away from trouble or responsibility and waste valuable time. One problem at a time, complain about it until it becomes a part of who you are. We have the chance to make things right and get second chances every time the sun rises. The important thing is not where we start each cycle, but how far we move forward on purpose from there. Leaving behind a legacy through growing returns. With purposeful effort, you can stop failing over and over again. You need to decide if today will be better or worse. Just take a bold step toward finding out more about yourself. At the forks in the road, the choices we make set the course of our lives. We may feel like we're losing control when our goals are out of reach and we're having a hard time making progress. We have a lot of ability, but things that confuse us often take up our time. You can choose to put things off or pay attention at any given time. Our journey is set by the choices we make. Putting things off may help for a little while, but it will only cause more worry as more and more things get done. Putting things off can make you afraid and make them seem bigger than they are, which can stop you from moving forward. When we don't do anything, our worry grows. When we try to hide our uncomfortable feelings for a while, they come back stronger in the future. Opting for delay only leads to needless worry. Amazing things can happen if you choose where to focus. Progress keeps going forward, picking up speed like steady seas shape shores. By doing the same things over and over, problems become easier to handle and can be solved quickly. Courage is sticking with something even when it gets hard. When someone is dedicated, their hard work, imagination and emotion are all directed toward their final goals. Step by step, we build the way under our feet until all of a sudden we get to where we want to go. It's important to know the difference between putting things off and focusing. Passive disinterest is a sign of procrastination, while active involvement is needed to focus. To really focus, you need to be aware to set clear goals, disciplined to block out distractions, flexible to deal with changes, and steadfast in your faith, even when the way ahead isn't clear. You don't have to be very intense every day, but it's important to be constant. Over time, small victories add up to big ones that tip the scales of fate. Before you decide which way to go, stop and listen to your gut. Which way are you going to go? The easy way or the right way? Set goals, accept inspiration and get past problems. Don't look away until you can see the lines ahead of you clearly. Don't waste time on things that will confuse you. Moving forward is what makes dreams come true. Okay, now let's take a deep breath and begin. Ninth lesson. 
Stand out so much that no one can doubt you. Imagine how amazing it would be to make your biggest dream come true, leaving everyone who sees it in awe and wonder. To see your skills, talents, and strengths grow so brightly that no one can doubt your abilities anymore. Self-motivation and commitment are needed for the trip, but the benefits are huge for those who master it. We all have natural beauty that wants to be developed and fully realized. Letting self-doubt or bad forces hold us back from being great keeps us from reaching our goals. Energy fades over time because of responsibilities and tiredness, but we can get it back if we change our perspectives and focus on possibilities instead of what we think are the limits. First, shut down any bad ideas or outside words that might be stopping you from reaching your goals. Our North Stars point us in the right way every day, which helps us reach exponential levels of success. Take pride in your unique talent and don't feel bad about showing it. Break down the steps that need to be taken with unshakable drive and ask for help from teachers. As you get more experience, carefully develop your skills and learn from people who have already done well. This will help you feel more confident. When a new power shows up, it turns areas that were once neutral into places where real writers can be found. Your worthiness rises as your skills become more obvious and doubts fade away. If you have shown over and over that you are good at what you do, you don't need to worry about imposter syndrome. Keep going and don't let short-term failures or not getting noticed stop you. You don't get understanding and skill right away. You have to work at them over time and your progress builds on itself. Start each day with a strong resolve to make small changes. Soon, amazing feats become the usual going above and beyond what was expected. Being consistent leads to amazing miracles that easily clear up any questions. Self-doubt can get in the way of our dreams by telling us lies about our natural skills. Some self-deprecating phrases are, I feel unprepared, I lack experience, and others have more talent. These may seem humble, but they can actually take away the drive you need to succeed. If we start to question our skills too soon, it can make us less motivated and slow down our progress. But as soon as we say we believe in a big goal, chances seem to come out of nowhere. To be successful in the long run, you need to see and accept your unique traits. It's important to remember that even the most famous stars came from nothing and went through times of weakness, awkwardness and obscurity before they became great. When you accept your inner talent with confidence, you let yourself go after greatness without any fear. Don't let titles limit or define you. Make your own way to success by going above and beyond what is expected of you. Don't compare your work to other people's timelines. Instead, think about what makes your own efforts valuable. Trust your gut and don't let other people put down your unique skills. Make new, useful inventions that the world needs. But first, don't be afraid to praise talented people. When we don't see how valuable our unique skills are, we break the promise we made to make the world a better place. We can't grow as people or move forward as a society if we waste our potential. Be brave and have faith in your worth and the things you can do. Don't listen to fake preachers who spread doubt. You are amazing and very important. Believe this to be true and make it happen. Lesson 10. Mess up a lot to get better. Everyone has a deep-seated desire to use their unique skills and abilities in their chosen job to make an important difference and achieve their purpose. Traditional methods, on the other hand, tend to put avoiding danger, safety and success ahead of personal satisfaction. A lot of people try to live up to what society expects of them, but when they get there, they feel empty. But there are other ways to be successful that can help you grow as a person and make you happy. Accepting that loss can teach you a lot. This idea that getting better means getting rid of mistakes has been around for a long time. 
but success comes from learning from mistakes over and over again. Perfectionism often takes a back seat to intelligence in cultures that don't like loss, which can be very dangerous. But all the great things that have been done, like science breakthroughs and famous works of art, came about when people were willing to face uncertainty and chaos and went into unknown territory with a big vision and an open mind. Innovators throughout history have seen mistakes as useful information that helps them make deliberate course changes. People shouldn't fear and avoid loss as the worst thing that could happen and stop their efforts. Instead, mistakes show that the current methods need to be improved because of new factors. Making small changes to the plan makes it better overall. In the end, failure is a good guide that helps us reach our goals based on our own facts instead of general rules. By changing the ways that society counts success, we give new generations the power to fight in a way that helps people instead of institutions. No longer do rebels have to lower their risks or give up on their ideas in order to fit in with the crowd. Allowing people to try new things without worrying about failing sparks, creative thought that can solve complex problems that need new answers. Follow your gut instead of trying to get other people's support to feel better. As you go down your own unique ways, keep going and see loss as a step toward success. You will get there. Unmet needs can hurt our attitude, relationships and potential over time. But asking for help from others can sometimes lead to sadness, rejection or being ignored or misunderstood. A lot of people don't tell others what they want because they don't want to bother people who are already busy, but keeping your pain to yourself doesn't help anyone. For this to work, requests must be made in a way that makes showing kindness seem easier than ignoring them. Being handled with respect, respected, included and encouraged are basic wants that everyone has in order to live a full life. Neglecting our basic emotional needs can make us feel bad, which can change how we connect with other people. Kind people are more likely to step in and help when we make our needs and answers clear. They appreciate clear communication that gets rid of any doubt. It's okay to suggest things that bring people together and show how much you value your friendship. It's better to ask for help or words of support from your friends and family if you feel left out when you need them than to assume that they will understand and help you on their own. Instead of expecting comfort, show support through helpful actions. Treating others with kindness as much as possible shows that you are ready to be cared for. Relationships work best when people can talk to each other and understand each other. Everyone should be able to say what they need emotionally in a kind and fair way. There are channels for exchanging messages, so there is a mix of giving and getting. People who send subtle signs but don't directly ask for attention are often ignored by the world. However, real change starts with bravely stating urgent needs or bright hopes. To get people to work together effectively, make sure your requests are polite and clear and make it easier for people to offer help than to refuse it. Lesson 11. Being humble can help you get over fear and worry. Being aware of the limits of human thinking makes room for divine sources of knowledge and direction. When we let go of our ego, we can connect with the deep kindness that lies beneath our physical wants. Being aware that we don't have full power or understanding helps us to find the truth. Surrendering gives you a deep sense of freedom. We want to make our goals known without any hidden agendas that are based on greed or fear. By being humble, we can see things beyond our own needs. It's easier to see how we can help make society better when we use ideas that aren't based on fame or money. The goal gets stronger. Now, growth is driven by universal rules instead of ego. Support shows up in the form of coincidence and the community helps you through hard times by always supporting your views. Gains that are compounded can add up over time in a quiet and meaningful way. Fear can be overcome by belief, 
and consistency works better than worrying. Courage is love in action. Even when you're scared, start by being humble and trust that there are many options that are out of your reach. When we admit our flaws, we let God's kindness guide us, which makes our lives clear and frees us from doubt. We remember our real purpose with a sense of humility, and then worry and fear can't get in the way of our progress. Most people believe in a world that looks like what they see, steady buildings, regular habits, and people trying to get limited resources. Throughout history, wise people have pointed out a very different truth that lies beneath all the beauty and chaos. This world is just a dream, a representation of awareness turning energy into matter. We feel existence in ways that go beyond what we can understand. People who study physics and people who study mysticism both agree that our true nature is not in the physical worlds that we often try to control. When you look more closely at the quantum level, concrete things give off short-lived energy that goes away. We are the awareness that sees things through the filters of biological and social training, which can sometimes make some situations stand out more than others. When we think of life as a unique experience that we create without realizing it, we can change the rules of reality on purpose. We may not have known how much power we have over our lives. Worlds change quickly when minds are freed from the constraints of narrow thought. It starts by questioning what people think is normal and what they think is impossible. We're interested in changing belief systems that put an emphasis on lack and unpredictability. By looking inside ourselves, we can find the divine nature that brings us together despite our differences. This centered stillness speeds up the process of conscious creation. People may think of this world as a dream, but we lose control of it when we let our minds wander without paying attention to them. Come back to life and take control again. You can think of things, make them happen, and be the center of attention. Look at the story from a different angle and see how life just falls into place in ways that our senses can't explain. You have depth. Now is the time to take back control and remember. Lesson 12. Building on daily work. The amazing accomplishment is truly impressive and it looks like it came together without any trouble. But if you look more closely at great people or groups, you'll see that they got where they are by working hard every day. As time goes on, the idea of minor gains in mathematics can make things much more useful generally. Winners usually get ahead over time, not by making big jumps all of a sudden, but by making small steps forward over and over again. Instead of doing it once in a while, the body gets stronger by repeatedly strengthening muscle fibers. To be successful, athletes have to follow strict training plans that require them to focus very hard. To get rich, you need to regularly save and spend a part of your income. To build good connections, you need to show care on a regular basis, not just once in a while. Consistent practice and careful review are needed to get better at things. Over time, small wins add up to big ones, making us better. When you make a choice with a bigger goal in mind, you get benefits that are much greater than the effects you had at first. Planting seeds regularly, even on days when you don't see results right away, prepares the land for a time of plenty. By consistently showing up and putting in your best effort, gifts will slowly start to pile up over time. Let's wait and be quiet. Don't worry about how slowly you're making progress right now. Believe in the power of hard work that you put in every day, even when you don't feel like it. Focus on long-term success instead of short-term happiness as you keep going. To reach your big goals, begin small and take daily small steps. Getting rich is possible if you keep making small changes over time. Our culture tells us that we need to get approval from other people to figure out our worth and potential. Before we start our search for meaning, we eagerly wait for teachers, jobs, publishers and funders to recognize our skills. But the way to be successful and wealthy 
is to take charge of our own lives and follow our dreams with confidence and a strong will. The world needs the unique things that only you can offer. However, it's important to value and accept your own skills and ideas without needing approval from others. Find the secret success potential that's inside you. Don't let names that limit you define or hold you back. Make your own way to personal growth and go beyond what the norm says is possible. Make new tracks that don't fit into standard groups. Instead of relying on other people to teach you, do small things that will help you learn and use what you've learned. Before thinking about getting money, it's important to focus on getting the basics right. Helping customers in the area should be your top priority. Develop credibility by displaying real successes. Establish yourself as a fearsome figure by performing regular and bold proof of concept tests. Demonstrate a rather than explain. Show perseverance from the start and constantly when faced with closed doors. Insight and conviction will break through walls, creating new opportunities that prioritize integrity over conformity. Generous gifts from sovereign sources have already funded your life's work. However, in order to manifest, one must take the initiative and have confidence in their untapped potential, which is ready to be discovered. The rest becomes clear step by step when we take the initiative without relying on prompts or assistance. You can do it. Go out there and make a difference. Final lesson. Superhuman mind. We reach the end of this transformative journey where you can fully realize your highest potential and become so amazing that self-doubt and others' skepticism about your capabilities have no influence over you. By applying the teachings from these pages to your everyday life and taking bold action, you have everything necessary to bring about extraordinary results. When we wholeheartedly embrace exponential personal growth and consistently strive for self-mastery, external validation loses its significance. The evidence of growing capabilities that silence critics is something that becomes apparent both internally and externally as time goes on. Through patience and perseverance, we can achieve a level of excellence that breaks all assumptions about limitations. As you continue to share your unique talents, gifts, passions and essence with the world for the upliftment of others, always remember that your power comes from within. Your inherent worth transcends any title, achievement or prize, remaining constant amidst changing landscapes. You were born with incredible potential and endless possibilities. This truth is ready to be activated every day. Now, confidently pursue the fulfillment of your greater purpose. Take it easy on yourself and stay focused on making progress rather than seeking perfection. You possess incredible strength, wisdom and natural talents that may exceed your awareness. However, dedicating oneself to continuous improvement will eventually unveil all its magnificence. It would be amazing if you could surprise both yourself and the world with your incredible abilities.